morning guys welcome back to the channel so today is Braylon's first official day of her fall season we are headed up to Philly for a two-day soccer tournament it is super early it is 6 30 in the morning I think this is the earliest that me and Braylon have gotten up since the last day of school so we are both kind of struggling she is sleeping in the back seat trying to get a couple hours of sleep before we get there it's about a three hour drive for us She's nervous, excited, all sorts of different feelings. Obviously, she's excited for the season to start, but a little nervous because she hasn't played in, I don't know, I think it's been like six weeks or seven weeks since her last game slash tournament. So we are gonna drive for a couple hours and then we're gonna stop and get some breakfast. That way Braylon can get something in her stomach. Because as you know, if you're an athlete, fueling your body and hydrating your body is very important before a big soccer tournament like this. We did stop at Chick-fil-A. Braylon is up. She's back there trying to get dressed because she literally just got up out of bed and jumped in the car with her pajamas still on. So she's back there getting ready. We are about 20 minutes away from the location that she's gonna be playing at. Um, Braylon did get a chicken biscuit with some fruit. We are going to just eat in the car so that way we can get over there. It's going to get us there about 25 minutes before she has to actually be there. So that's going to give us some time to find some parking because a lot of times these big tournaments, it's so hard to find parking and then uh, give Braylon some time just to kind of finish waking up, stretch, get in her mindset for this tournament and then the first game will be starting. Turn, go. I go anywhere, anywhere with you. Cause you feel my mind. Oh, you feel my mind. We could build a dream, start up something new. Let the old be dead. Let the shadows be my head. So we are currently at halftime. The girls are winning 1-0. It is so hot here. It's about 85, but with the humidity, it is just awful. Girls are playing well. Braylon is actually playing her normal position up in the forward striker position. I am running to the car real quick during halftime to get myself a hair tie because it's so hot and I'm out of breath because I'm running. We only get five minutes for the half and I can already tell that the game has started before I made it back because I had so far to go to get to the car, which is sad because I feel really bad that I haven't made it back before the second half started. So I need to hurry up and get over there. I go anywhere, anywhere with you. Cause you feel my mind, oh, you feel my mind. We go build a dream, start up something, let the old be dead.
right, so the first game is over. The girls won three to one. Braylon actually scored two goals. Guys, I missed the first goal. It is so hot outside that my phone is overheating because I record on my phone for um, soccer games just because it doesn't draw as much attention to myself. If you know when your phone's overheating, it's like really delayed and it starts to get really slow. So when I knew that like she was setting up to score, I hit record and my phone was just so delayed that I missed it. So I feel awful. I hate when I miss her goals. So anyway, she did get two goals. As you saw, I did get the second one. That was her second um, goal that she had got that I did get on camera. Um, we are gonna relax here in the car. It is so hot. We have the air on. Braylon's gonna have a little something to eat, try to cool off. And then she has another game she needs to be back to in about 45 minutes and it just keeps getting warmer and warmer. I think it's like 97 degrees here now. So this second game is going to be miserable. She needs to make sure she gets hydrated, um, you know, take her shoes off, let her feet kind of air out a little bit, try to just relax and get a little something in her stomach. How do you feel about your first game? As she's sitting there shoving her face. Are you excited you scored two goals? Yes. She's not very talkative today. I'm telling you, I think she still has nerves and still a little tired from the full drive up here, but we're gonna relax and then get this second game over with. I am not looking forward to sitting out in this heat and I always feel so bad when she has to play in temperatures like this. Raylan's shoes untied. Come on, Tendo! Go! Yeah! Guys, we are back. Braylon's team won their second game 4-0. Braylon had two goals. I got both of them this time, so she can't be mad at me for missing one of her goals. We are actually here at the hotel. I don't know if you guys want a little room tour. I'll show you real quick. It is just a basic, regular room, but we are all so hot, sweaty. It ended up being 97 degrees our second game. Braylon is exhausted. She's kind of got a headache and maybe some little bit of signs of like some dehydration just because it was so hot out but the girls played awesome so we are going to be playing tomorrow at two o'clock and again the girls are going to be going into day two with two wins which is awesome but let me show you the room real quick it's just a basic room so we have the bathroom in there which here comes Braylon <laughs> superstar today and we have two beds 
and this is it. There's a basic room. We're only here for one night. We are on the first floor, which makes Braylon so happy. She hates it when we have to stay so far up. And this is our view this time. We're actually right in front facing out. That is the, um, that right there is the lobby of the hotel. So we're actually like right here in the front. But like I said, we are so hot, sweaty, stinky. Yes, we are stinky. It is so hot and miserable out. Braylon is gonna shower, I'm gonna shower, Scott's gonna shower, and then we are gonna relax a little bit. And then we're gonna go out to dinner. We are all trying to decide what we want for dinner. I um, haven't really looked to see what all is close by, but we're gonna try to find something really good because our game tomorrow is not till two o'clock and Braylon really needs to eat well and um, get her body fueled for tomorrow, especially after the games that they had today, which is it being so hot and their first tournament. So, you know, the girls are not in full shape yet. And so it tires them out a lot quicker. I am ready. Just waiting for Braylon to finish up getting ready. As you guys know, she takes forever to get ready. After she's done, we are going to head out. I think we're going to meet one of Braylon's um, friends from her team and her mom to get some dinner. And then after that, we're going to try to find something else to do because it's still kind of early. And since the girls don't have to get up early, they have the later afternoon game. We can actually find something to do this evening. Not really sure what we're going to do, but possibly go to the King of Prussia Mall because we are very close to that mall. And it's absolutely one of our favorite malls to shop at. Made it back from the mall. Braylon did get something from Sephora. That's about the only place that she went into that she found something. Braylon, you wanna show them what you got? Show them what you got. It's something really exciting. She's been seeing it all over TikTok and she's been wanting it. So she's really excited that they had it. Got the milk makeup and I got a blush. $21 for this tiny little there thing. There actually is a lot Here's of product the, in there though, but you wouldn't use that much. Here is the color that she got. And this is the brand. And again, she's been seeing it all over TikTok and she's really excited that she got it. And Braylon is ready for bed. It has been a long day. It is only 8.46 and she is exhausted. Braylon's legs are really sore from playing soccer all day plus we were out in that heat and so everybody's just tired so we came back here to the room we're gonna watch the Little League World Series and try to get some sleep we are literally right across the hall from the indoor pool and there is a whole soccer team down there and they are so loud we can hear everything coming through our door because it's literally you walk out our door and right there is the pool and hopefully, those girls have games tomorrow too. So hopefully they're not there really late. It doesn't close till 11 o'clock and it's only 8.45. So if they stay in that pool until it closes, we're not going to be getting any sleep until 11 o'clock. So before we left the mall, I got this little treat. It is Cinnabon, center of the roll. And Braylon's really not supposed to have this because she has her game tomorrow. And her coach had like these strict rules about what they could and couldn't eat tonight. But this is me and Braylon's favorite. And even though it's nine o'clock at night, we are gonna sit here and have a little treat. Moss Scott watches the baseball game before we go to bed. Look, she's got her fork ready. She's like licking the fork. I was just gonna get it for myself and she got so upset. And I was like, I can't do that to her. That's just not nice. So I'm gonna let her have some of it. And mm, it's so, so good. Good morning, guys. It's actually 10 o'clock, so it's not really morning morning, but we tried to sleep in as long as we could and just kind of lounge around and relax a little bit. We do have to be checked out of here by 11. So Scott just went to get in the shower. I need to start getting ready. Braylon literally just got up out of bed, so she's trying to wake up a little bit and then everyone's gonna get ready. We need to try to find somewhere good to eat so she can fuel her body. It's gonna be 93 today at 2.15 when her game starts. Just so you guys can see, here's Braylon's feels right now. <laughs> As you can tell, she's just like, still completely tired like do we really have to do this again made it here to the soccer field and Braylon has decided she's gonna wear her brand new cleats today that she has not wore she's actually taken them out of the box showing what they look like look at those Ooh, they look so good they're so fresh they're not gonna get as dirty because it hasn't rained it's really dry here and look at her uniform today so it's gonna match perfect it's always good whenever you wear new cleats, although she has not broke them in and hopefully she doesn't get sore feet. What do you think? You think she should wear them? 
You think your feet are going to get sore out there? No? In one game? No. No? Okay. All right. She'll be fine. It's really dry, so they're not going to get, like, muddy or we don't have to worry about rain. No, it's not supposed to rain, so they're not going to get wet. They'll just get, like, dusty. Are you going to stick with those? Yeah. Yeah? Or are you going to put your other ones on? The other ones are in your bag. So if they you start, do have... If they yeah. start to hurt, you can change them real quick when you come out. They have... You want to put the black ones in your bag? No, my white ones. Oh, okay. So you're going to keep an extra pair in your bag, so if you want to switch them out. So you my have to make... other white ones are, like... Your other white ones got ruined because it rained that time. They're not ruined. They're just... They stink. stink. Right. <laughs> they stink really bad. You good? You sure you want to keep those on? You got 15 minutes before warm-up start. Get in there. Did tie zero zero since they haven't lost a game at all in this tournament. They are advancing to the championship game. I came up here to start the car so that way it was cooled off before Braylon um, came in here. She did not get a break at all. She played the whole game, the whole first half, the whole second half. So she's definitely going to be a little tired and hot. You have about a 45 minute break until the next game starts. She's going to get a little something in her stomach. Very, very light. We have some pineapple, some pretzels, get some salt in her, get some vitamin C in her, um, try to get her ready for the second game. And then this will be the championship. So fingers crossed that we win. We definitely want to walk away with uh, the first place medal at our first tournament of the season.
So that game didn't end as well as we wanted it to. The girls lost 2-0, which put them in second place in this tournament. Braylon, as you saw, she did have a tumble and she ended up coming off and she didn't play the last like seven minutes of the game because she did twist her ankle and it is bothering her a little bit. Actually, both ankles are hurting her, but the one more than the other. So she is not in a good mood because of that and second because they got second place. So we're gonna let her cool down a little bit. We are gonna drive for a little while and then stop and get some dinner, um, probably about an hour into our drive. That'll give her some time to like cool off and clear her mind and then she'll be hungry for dinner. We are driving about an hour and I found this cool little diner that we're gonna go check out. Wait till I show you guys what it looks like. As soon as we pulled in, Braylon's like, oh, this is a cool looking place. Hopefully they have some good food. They have some good reviews. So there's Braylon. She's feeling better, but she's limping a little bit. There's a good old Scotty. So we are back. I'm being really quiet because it is so late at night. Brianna and Jordan are already sleeping. Braylon is showering and we are gonna head off to bed. Let me tell you that diner, the food was amazing. It was so, so good. Braylon's in the shower, she's sore, she's tired, everyone's exhausted, the heat just really wore us out, plus it was just a long weekend. I know you guys are probably wondering where I'm at. I usually don't film in this room, but this is actually like a um, office slash um, sitting area here off of my bedroom, but it's actually like Scott's man cave area with all of his um, sports memorabilia stuff in here. But anyway, so we are going to head off to bed. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry, Braylon is not here to do the ending, but like I said, once she gets out of the shower, I know she's just going to crash in bed. I hope you guys enjoy this video. There is going to be a lot more soccer videos coming soon. Um, we have a soccer tournament next weekend. We have a soccer tournament the following weekend. And then we have um, two more soccer tournaments after that. And then all of her games on the weekends are going to be coming up soon. So it's going to be really busy with soccer. But we will see you guys at the next video. Thank you guys so much for continuing to support our channel. Make sure to like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And also make sure you guys are following us on TikTok and Instagram.